Hi, this is Logan from logansfromthepodcast.com, and this is another one of our video tutorials. Today we're going to teach you how to download, install, and set up XLite for use with TalkShoe. XLite is an SIP program that is, enables you to call in for free into the TalkShoe network. The settings we teach you today will only teach you how to call into TalkShoe. It will not enable you to call in from PC to PC. Well, the first thing you want to do is open your access to your internet and go to the website www.counterpath.com. Counterpath is the company that produces XLite. And as you see down in the lower right hand corner, there is a button there for XLite. We want to click on that. And we want to go to the download section here. You can read a little bit about the program if you want. Counterpath produces three different programs. The XLite 3.0, which is free. The iBeam 1.5 in the BRIA 3.0, which you have to pay for both of those programs. So we want to go down to the bottom and click on the free download for XLite 3.0. At this time you come to a page that brings you to the download for XLite 3.0. Now it gives you options for Windows, Mac, or Linux, so go ahead and pick whichever one you use. In my case, I use the one for Windows. Now also just so you know, there is the new XLite 4.0 beta which has for both Windows and Mac. The beta is still in test phase, so I really don't recommend it. 3.0 is a good stable program. At this point, you can click on it and download, save it to wherever you want to save the file to. I've already got it there, but we'll resave it. And as you can see, it is a 9.35 megabyte file. It takes about 30 seconds using DSL to download. So it is a very quick program. And I'm actually going to cancel that since I've already got it there. At this point, we have it right here, and I'm not going to reinstall it. But you'd click on that and just go through the very simple install processes. From the point of download to installing, it's probably three minutes total. Once you have installed it, it'll ask you if you want to launch it. Once you launch it, this is what you'll have right here. This is the XLite interface. Now with the interface you have a number of different things. You have on this side a little screen here that if you have a web camera you can actually do video with it. And on this side is context and we will get into that in a few minutes. Up at the top you have three different buttons. This center one minimizes. This one here hides in the system tray. And this is your menu button. Click on the menu button and we're going to go down to SIP account settings. Now here we're going to actually install and put in our SIP account. And what a SIP account does, it enables you to actually call in to talk to you. So it display name, you want to type in the login name that you have for talk to you. For a username, you want to type that same thing in. This is your login name for talk to you. Type in your talk to you password. And for authorized username, it is the same thing, your username for talk to you. And let's make sure we have all of that correct there for myself. For domain, you want to type in 66.212.134.192. This is the IP address that enables you to actually log in and call in to talk to you. Down here, we have domain proxy. You want to uncheck that. And for send outborn via, you want to click domain. So let's review this front page one more time. For your display name, your username and your authorized username, these are the names that you log into TalkShoe with. If you're logging into the into the chat, to get to your access, this is the ones you want to put in here. For password, this is your TalkShoe password. For domain, you want to type in 66.212.134.192. Next, you want to go up and click on Topology up at the top. For IP addresses, the setting is already exactly what we need. The only change we're going to make here is the sun setting. And right now it is automatically by default set up for display server. Click on use specific server. In the box next to it, type in stun.counterpath.net. Now as you know, the website is counterpath.com but you want to type in specifically stun.counterpath.net. You want to make sure that enable ice is checkmarked and then just go down and hit apply and okay. And it is that simple. 
as you can see, we now have my SIP account listed in here. You can now close that box out. If you've done it correctly, you'll see that it says ready. Your username is, is whatever your username is. In my case, it's Eclipse 7015. And it shows that Xlight is actually ready to be used. Now at this point, we want to click on and open that contact wing that we had mentioned earlier. This is where you can type in your different contacts. And I already have a contact put in, but I will show you how to access it. You want to go to this button here, contacts, and press the pull down the menu and go to add contacts. What you would do here is you would type in TalkShoe and you don't need to put a last name down as you, as you can see it fills in display name as well. Coming down to contact methods at the very first one for business use the pull down menu and go to shoe phone and then in the field next to it type in 123 the at symbol 66.212.134.192 and then we would hit OK. Now I've already got it done so I'm going to cancel that out. What that would do is that will put right down here a talk shoe contact for you. And just by clicking on that you could then go in And I don't know if you could hear that or not, but I've actually went through and got to the TalkShoe prompt asking me for my call ID. It's just that simple. This automatically gives you a speed dial. You can click on it. And if you got all the settings correctly, if you followed our instructions here, it'll take you right to it. Also, just a little tip. For now on, after you've got that in there, you don't actually need to go to the contacts anymore. You can just hit the redial button, and it will automatically take you into it. And at that point... You can also enter your call IDs by either hitting the buttons on the pad here or by hitting the buttons on your computer keypad. One last thing we want to do is we want to go in back to the menu and we want to go to options. Now with the options here, it gives you some basic options, applications, alerts and sounds, availability, devices. You want to click on devices. And with that, you want to find for the headset, if you're using a headset, whichever particular headset you're using. In my case, I'm using a Logitech G35 headset. And you want to make sure that for both speakers and microphone, that that's highlighted in the field there. For speakerphone, you want to do the same thing. Now here's something else. A lot of times you can get feedback. Uncheck Use Auto Gain Control in both of these fields. If you have a video camera, and if you want to use the video camera, you would select your video camera here. In my case, I don't like having the video camera on, so I always have none. Hit Apply. Hit OK. And it's just that simple. This has been our video training tutorial for Xlight using it with TalkShoe. My name is Logan, and you can find this and many other training tutorials at www.logansrunthepodcast.com and also on www.talkshoesupport.com. Well, we will see you next time.